So living systems, the way that I envisioned it was not only a paying homage to the environment, but also a call to action. A lot of artists, including student artists here, are um, worried about climate change. It's hard to ignore the changes that you see when you are observing the world around you in ways as artists do. It's very interesting to me that we don't talk about the climate catastrophe as much as we used to. We are not apart from this landscape, such as the Great Marsh, the ocean, the estuaries, all the parts of where we live that give us life. I think anytime we have an artist that recognizes what's going on in the real world, gets us out of our little bubble. I mean, all these things are of serious stuff, but they're so fun and lively. This art show is not um, attempting to make us feel bad, it is raising our awareness that we have a problem. Having four different types of work, sculpture, painting, installation, and collage, all these things coming together as a collective, how these artists are bringing together ideas, bringing together their experiences and viewpoints to present a, a way of seeing. It's a, it's a big deal, you know, it's a big deal to put your work on display. You're putting your heart out there. It's hard to put out there, and they're very brave. Yeah. These four artists are inviting us to see what they see and feel what they feel. That's important. I believe it's more important than APs, GPAs, or getting into an Ivy League school. I, I think my favorite piece is surface tensions. It doesn't matter uh, literally what it is. I was just attracted to the connection, the relationship, the depth, and actually all of Aaron's stuff has that that tension of depth and surface and it's wonderful. Uh, you all are invited. Please come to meet the artists. Check out Living Systems. Support these artists and support art. There are some important messages just for you at this show, but you won't get the message unless you come and look for it. And it's only for you.